Well, I think of Yiddish as being like a place um, that, uh, you know, that people basically carried with them since there are only a, a few sort of anomalous um, examples of, you know, like sort of autonomous Yiddish uh, you know, regions. I mean, it was, you know, as a, um, uh, as, as a place, as a, as a culture, you know, a way of thinking. And something that, you know, the, the, the tragic thing is that, you know, uh, um, uh, Yiddish um, didn't really, it didn't die out like Latin. You know, it still was, you know, like, uh, um, in its, uh, it was still developing. Um, to take like another example, which is, you know, like not as tragic, but just, you know, like silent movies. I mean, silent movies are, are an art form in and of themselves. There's like nothing, no reason why silent movies couldn't have continued except that somebody developed, you know, like another technology and that, and that the marketplace decreed that that was what was going to, to rule. I mean, there's no reason why, why Yiddish wouldn't have continued to develop, although, you know, there are reasons why it might not have continued to develop um, uh, forever, historically, you know, if, if it weren't for, uh, um, you know, for World War II. So that, that's, uh, you know, that adds a, a tragic dimension to, uh, uh, to, to the culture. And so it's, it's something that's like a, it's like a phantom limb for, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that um, uh, you feel, but it's, but it's missing.